If you have a newer Chevy, but you're still rocking the halogen lights and you want to upgrade, the best bulb you can choose is this one right here. I'm making it plain and simple for you. This is the GTR Lighting Ultra 3 bulb. After testing hundreds of them, this is the brightest one and it's the most refined. I'm going to show you how to install it in this vehicle and what it looks like compared to your stock bulb and the GTR Lighting Ultra 2, which used to be the king of bulbs. The third generation of the popular GTR Lighting LED bulbs provide even more darkness destroying output than ever before. Unlike its competitors, every aspect has been carefully considered, resulting in a multifaceted masterpiece that leaves no detail behind. It's equipped with custom LEDs. It's a powerhouse that ensures unparalleled performance, while its optimized positioning guarantees efficient light distribution, eliminating the wastage. GTR Lighting is committed to building a durable LED bulb. It's 100% potted and waterproof, ready to conquer anything. It's also super compact with an internal driver, providing 4,700 lumens of luminosity output with effortless installation. It's also backed by a lifetime warranty. It's a bulb that outshines and outlasts the competition. Just remember, LED headlight bulbs are not street legal in the USA, and we advise you to not drive with these installed on public roads. In off-road settings, these are fine to use, but using bulbs this bright on the street may be uncomfortable to other drivers. I find it a little bit odd that in 2019 to I think 23, they would still include halogen bulb. This is dated and it's in a reflector headlight housing. It uses an H11 bulb for your low beam, which is the bulb on the top, and then down here it's a 9005. If you're going to upgrade to any LED bulb, make sure you get the right LED bulb size so you can have a plug and play replacement. Now, you need a bulb that replicates that wire wound filament in your halogen bulb like GTR Lighting Ultra Series bulbs do. The Ultra 2 did a good job. The Ultra 3 is just more refined, it's more precise, and it gives you an even better beam pattern down the road. I'm gonna show you guys how to install it after I show you what it looks like. This is your favorite part of the video and mine too. We get to see how much better this bulb is compared to your halogen bulbs. I'm gonna take this truck and I'm gonna back it up about 10 meters away from the wall. I'm then gonna use a digital lux meter that measures the actual usable brightness at the brightest point on the wall. Then we're gonna compare the Ultra 2 and then the Ultra 3. Now this is what your Chevy Silverado output looks like. Obviously, right off the bat, the color is not what we like. This is the last thing you wanna be driving with. The fact that it's still on these newer Chevy Silverados blows my mind. Using that digital lux meter, I measured 308 maximum lux. I have seen fog lights much brighter than this at a certain point on the wall. On low beam, the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 bulb, the bulb that came out years ago, I measured 2,440 maximum lux. So even years ago, we had a bulb that was 692% brighter than your stock halogen bulbs. That is insane. Obviously, the Ultra 3 is gonna be more refined and it's gonna be even brighter. At this point, I measured 2,640 maximum lux. This is one of the brightest improvements of light I've seen out of every single thing I've tested. 757% brighter is an insane amount of brightness that will punch that light far down the road to keep you safer when you're driving. And then of course, it's also easier on the eyes. It's got a different color temperature than the Ultra 2 by a little bit, it's a little bit warmer. And in my opinion, you get a little bit less eye fatigue with this color tint. Your stock high beam does do pretty good. It was 908 maximum lux, but the Ultra 2 blows that out of the water at 5,010 maximum lux at the brightest point on this wall here. That is 452% brighter. Now, the Ultra 3 is also bright, much brighter than the Ultra 2, at 5,350 maximum lux. 489% brighter on high beam is an insane number. Like I said, this is a refined bead pattern. The color is great, the width is great. It's a set it and forget it bulb, and it doesn't make any sense to install anything besides the Ultra 3 from here on out. Pretty wild to see that much light improvement by simply changing out two bulbs on each side. Now, a lot of you are going to click off because you don't need the install help. It's super easy. Just reach your hand into the abyss and turn your bulbs out and then install your new bulbs. If you do need my help, I'm gonna show you in a second, but otherwise, go to headlightrevolution.com. Full disclosure, this bulb is very, very popular and it might be sold out by the time you get there. Headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make and model so that way you get the right bulb size for your Chevy. All you have to do to get this installed is pop the hood. I'm gonna start at the driver's side and just simply reach in 
and pull away your dust cover. There's one on the top, that's your low beam, and then reach into that headlight housing, turn your H11 bulb counterclockwise, disconnect it from the OEM wiring, and then grab your GTR lighting Ultra 3 H11. We're gonna connect it to your OEM wiring, we're gonna put it back into the headlight housing the same way the old one came out, and then put your dust cover back on. Do the exact same thing for high beam, Now, for whatever reason, when you get this installed, you don't get that beam pattern that I originally showed you. It's probably because your bulb is not aligned or clocked properly. Thankfully, GTR Lighting made these adjustable. Take this little Allen key here, and we're gonna find the little screw on here. We're not gonna remove it all the way. We want it to sit like this, with the cord aiming down and the LEDs shooting horizontally. If they're sitting like that, that's a no-go. So take your little Allen key here, locate the side, it's probably underneath this little rubber here, Pretty much the same thing for your low beam and your high beam. Locate this, and then we're just gonna loosen it up by turning it counterclockwise. We're not removing this screw at all. Now, this collar is adjustable. Now it can sit, remember, not like this, but like this. Once it's good, it's locked into place and it sits just like this, tighten down that screw and you're good to go. Do the same for the low beam and the high beam. The final step before you're all set is take yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna reach down on to the top side of this headlight and we're gonna align this. So we wanna either raise it up or lower it down. If you turn it clockwise, you're going to lower it. If it's counterclockwise, you're gonna raise up those headlights. If your vehicle is lifted or it's lowered, you do wanna align these properly so you're not blinding oncoming drivers. That's all it takes to upgrade the headlights on your Chevy Silverado. Go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make and model, and we'll show you guys everything else that we've tested for your vehicle.